question for Caitlin? Well, I think a lot of folks were wondering after you talked a lot about uh, waiting until the season was over to make the decision. They were wondering why, why you decided that right now was the right time to, to announce. I think just going into senior night, um, having that decision clear, not only for myself, but our fans, my teammates, um, I think that was super important. And honestly, just, I don't know, getting the weight of the world off my shoulders and being able to enjoy this last these last couple, this last month uh, with my teammates, I think is the biggest thing. And, you know, I think I kind of knew in my heart. So uh, being able to, to kind of get that off my shoulders was the biggest thing. And yeah, I think it's just, I think it's just important going into this final stretch, whether it's, you know, our last home game and then obviously probably hosting two home games at home. I think just really enjoying that and soaking that in is, is my biggest focus. You put on a good poker face this year anytime anyone asked you about the future. But I mean, how long would you say that you've known this was going to be the move? Um, honestly, like I would say, like I've gone honestly back and forth a little bit, especially early in the year. And I think, you know, as the season kind of played out, it became more clear to me. And I know I said at the beginning of the year, like I will definitely just kind of feel in my gut and know in my gut. And I think that's exactly what happened. I kind of knew what was going to be the right step for me. And obviously I had a lot of support system around me and my family, uh, my friends and, you know, talk to them. And um, I think everybody supported my decision and that's obviously reassuring. And uh, but I think that was the biggest thing, honestly, was just I felt it in my gut. Um, and obviously you weigh the pros and cons of both sides. And obviously there, there's pros and cons uh, both ways. But um, I think I just kind of knew in my heart. And that kind of goes back to my whole recruiting process, too, is like, you know, I knew in my heart I had to be here. And uh, I think I knew in my heart here is, you know, what we've been able to do is so special. And obviously that's not over. But um, I'm, I think I'm ready for the next kind of chapter in my life, too. Okay, well, as part of the reason you... I know that you don't probably want to talk about WNBA right now. I just want to ask one question, mm -hmm. which is if people from the Fever uh, have contacted you since this announcement was no. made. No. Uh, Caitlin, I know was well, part of the reason you you put out the announcement before Senior Day so people yeah. could pay attention to Gabby, Kate, Sharon, and, and Molly, Absolutely. just so it's not you don't they don't hear one more year chance <laughs> that you're being honored. Absolutely, I think that's super important because you know. Those other seniors have given so much to this program, um, been some of my best friends and people that they need to be celebrated the same way that I will be. And, um, you know, I think that's really special. I don't want that day. I didn't want that day to be something all about, like, is Caitlin going to stay? Is she going to go? I want it to just be a celebration of what we've been, been able to give to this program, what we've been able to do. Um, but even for ourselves and our team, being able to have some clarity and enjoy that day with each other, and um, especially Kate and Gab, people that I've started every single game with. Um, they've been two of my best friends, two people that have had my back since the day I stepped on campus. So um, they deserve that day just as much as anybody ever has. So When you made the announcement, a lot of us were over uh, covering the state tournament <laughs> yesterday, and uh, Jane Jensen was over there. We had a chance to talk with her after he made the announcement. Mm -hmm. She spoke about you playing a lot more freely during the Minnesota game, maybe because yeah. you had that weight off of your back. Did you feel that too, that that Minnesota game felt a little differently for you? And do you feel like yeah. these next possibly 10 games are gonna feel that same way? Yeah, I think for sure. I think anytime you make a big decision and you're confident in it, that's just kind of what happens. And um, I think that's my biggest focus going into the rest of the year is just smile, have fun, play free. Um, you know, after, you know, this game this weekend, there's we're really only guaranteed two games. Um, so I think just enjoying every single second and playing and having fun. Um, there's no reason to be tense because these moments go so fast. And uh, I think that's just the biggest thing for myself is just smile, have fun. And that's really when I play my best basketball. So um, I'm excited. Speaking of that decision to leave early, uh, you heard that this is going to be Sharon's senior mm -hmm. uh, day, too. Yeah. Uh, what was your reaction to when you found out she was going to be part of senior day with uh -huh. you? And, and what's it been like to have her as a teammate, especially yeah. this season? Yeah, I knew Sharon was kind of debating which way she was going to go. And I think the biggest thing is we support her no matter what. Um, Sharon, obviously, is somebody that came in with me and somebody I always had around somebody that always had my back and I think the thing about Sharon is she's one of the best teammates I've ever had as long as I've played sports whether it's soccer basketball whatever she's just always there for people she really cares about people she loves people um, she's one of the purest souls I've ever been around um, and I know she's going to make a really really great nurse if any of you know her you know Sharon like that's the perfect job for her so um, I know she took a lot of time to think about this and it was really hard for her um, but I'm excited I, I think you know she's come to terms with the decision and she's excited and um, to be able to celebrate her too she's given a lot to this program and obviously been through a lot in her life and um, you know I'm just really proud of her. When did you finally make the decision? What was the... Uh, I think I've 
I think I've known for a little while, honestly, and I've had quite a few conversations with our coaching staff, and they were always very supportive and helping me, you know, try to, try to understand both sides and see both sides. And um, I think especially over the last couple of weeks, my decision has become more clear, um, I would say. Yeah. As, you, as you weighed the pros and the cons, what, what were those pros that ultimately led you to your decision? Yeah, I think it's hard because there's <laughs> pros and cons both ways. Um, I think... I think just, you know, being excited, being excited about starting something new and starting a new chapter. Obviously, my focus is here. You know, my goal is to win a national title. That's plain and simple. That's what I want to do. And to be honest, I'm not really looking, you know, that far ahead to the WNBA and what's going to happen when is all that will get panned out whenever, you know, our season ends. And hopefully, you know, that's with a national title. So I think that's my main focus. And um, I think that having this decision done is going to allow me to play my best basketball. And that's honestly was my main priority. And um, I think that's what led me to announce it when I did. You're How much pressure has you. been on you with this decision weighing on you and kind of been the center of attention this whole season? Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think there's always going to be that pressure whether I was making this decision or not. And it's something that I kind of embrace. Like I'm very lucky to be in this position and, for people to be so invested in what I'm going to do and a fan base that cares so much about it. And obviously I'm very thankful for the support. I know a lot of IO fans may be a little bit sad, but for the most part it seems like everybody is just very appreciative of what we've been able to do over my four years. And um, that means the world to me. And hopefully, you know, we can go out the right way and um, really just keep winning basketball games. And I feel like we're playing really well right now. So um, I think that's the biggest thing. You're approaching another record, yeah. senior day, yeah. Sunday. I mean, have you thought about just everything that's going into Sunday and the emotions that you're feeling? Are we going to see emotions again? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I would, I would say so. And, and you know, it's, it's bittersweet. Like, this is – I'm lucky that we do senior day after the game's over. I think that's very important. Um, but, like, my main goal is beating Ohio State. Like, I think we're all just super excited for another opportunity at them. And, um, you know, we were up 10 points in the fourth quarter, and then we kind of, you know – fumbled it a little bit. So I think it's a it's a great opportunity for our team. Um, and honestly, it's a great opportunity for us to build momentum going into the Big Ten tournament. Um, it feels eerily similar to last year in a way. Um, and I think we can use that to our advantage. Um, but yeah, I think there will definitely be emotions. I'll have a lot of family and friends in attendance. And, um, you know, hopefully it's not our last game in Carver. We're able to host the um, NCAA tournament, but um, you know we definitely want to end our regular season the right way. So I think that's our, our main focus. Seems like your teammates, your, like, your teammates, never begrudged you a moment of all the attention you've gotten, mm -hmm. and that might not be the case on every team. What uh, can you tell us about your your uh, teammates <laughs> dealing with this? Oh gosh, well I could talk about them for forever. I think you know their support has just been everything. Like you know. Obviously, the light shines really bright on me, but then it does on everybody else, and that puts a lot of pressure on them too. So, um, you know, they never shied away from the, from the moment. They always had my back. Um, you know, they've always been very supportive of myself, and, you know, I think that just speaks to the culture Coach Bluter's built here is, you know, it's not just one person. You know, every single person has a voice. Every single person is valued, whether you come off the bench, whether you start the game, whether you don't get in. Um, that's what it's always been even before I got here. Um, and I think that's what's le led to us having so much success is that's just the way it is. Nobody gets jealous. You're just happy and you celebrate one another. And I think that's what's, you know, really allowed us to be so great, whether it was Megan, whether it was Monica, whether it was Kathleen, whether it was myself, whether it was Kate Martin, you know, you just celebrate one another. Um, and you just really want the best for your teammates because more than anything, you care about them as people more than you do as a basketball player. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, Caitlin.